Housing is a human right. Absolutely, 100% a human right. Everybody should have housing. Thank yeah. you for your service on all fronts to this day. 80 to 83. I was in Panama to get Noriega out of his mansion. I mean, you as not only a veteran, but someone who is serving your fellow veterans at the VA to be treated and vilified by the city like this. Yeah. Thank you. My wife's got Crohn's disease. I work three jobs and I still can't get a, get a place. I can't get a place. I can't get stability. Nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, our car got repoed. You know what I'm saying? Because we were five months behind. You know what I mean? And that's after we had already lost our place. You know, I, I sold I sold fifty thousand dollars worth of tools for for fourteen hundred dollars. You know, what I mean? just to pay a little bit more on the car and the rent, and still got screwed. Uh, I've been in Tent City for about five months now, but um, they keep asking me to move my tent because the property line magically keeps moving. Mm. How's that? Because the river moves? Uh, no, because they just are political pieces of shit. Oh, I and they have an agenda that doesn't include us. The authorities ask you. Oh yeah, it's move, always the authorities. To move where? Like. Well, um, if you go back, we started back there by that big dead looking tree. That was the property line. Then uh, they came and told us we had to move it up 25 feet because the property line had magically moved. Then it moved up another 30 feet. And so we moved here. And then the property line magically moved again to this dead tree right here who just magically happens to have been the property line the whole time. Maybe it'd be unquote. easier to move the tree, you know? You know what? That's exactly... Yeah. I, I was literally thinking that just 20 minutes ago. I was looking at that tree and I'm like, you know, I bet you'd be easier to move that fucking tree than to move my tent. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Don't have any evidence except anecdotal, but yes, every single like ocean management property with canvas, every single Mandy management property with canvas pike, they always have tons of empty units. Um, sometimes even half of them. Sometimes like half of the of an entire building. Yeah. Like um, a 40 yeah. unit building. Yeah, half mm -hmm. of them are empty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they do this like no cause eviction, like sorry, yeah, no no fault evictions, um, because they want to basically just like charge more to the next tenant. Yeah. Because if they if they increase rent on people, people like have some very insufficient but minimal recourses. They can go to fair rent commissions and basically yeah. litigate their case and say the rent is you know their rent increase was too high. And so what the landlords do instead is they just wait for a lease to end, kick people out with a no fault eviction, and then just like you know, double, uh, double the rent for the next person. Yeah. And so that's just also creating this just like artificially tight market where there's like yeah. all of these new people getting, you know, no fault evictions where now have to look for housing. Yeah. And then <laughs> the mega landlords keep units empty. And so now everyone is scrambling and competing for like very few, very few units and people that are willing to put up with like really undignified living conditions and yeah. insane rents because there's nowhere else to fucking go <laughs> except, yeah. you know, here. Yeah,